Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Uh, so TNT, uh, I know you're familiar with all gas, no brakes. Sure. Have you heard about this yet? Probably. I, th- I think I heard about his, uh, his, uh, the case. Yeah, so homeboys out here assaulting people. What happened exactly? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, the, the guy who runs his name's Andrew Callahan. I don't know if that's his real name or his like fake stage mm-hmm, name or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I didn't see the story, but I saw he released like an apology video. And, uh-huh. uh, he, and I watched that. And essentially what he said in it was just like, he was like, uh, hey, you know, these allegations have come out uh, about me being overly aggressive and pushy and and he said like uh he goes i realize that now that i've done wrong and that enthusiastic consent on both parties is not full consent and like i'll do better and i'm gonna look into this and i'm taking it in like but i guess like the people he did the show with i I guess like they when they found out they kind of like distanced themselves from him and he's not putting out new videos for a while and (laughs) you know i mean he, he did i mean he did the right thing like he was like oh i didn't realize that this is like aggressive and like this is you know i i come you know when i so he kind of said that that's how you know he learned like you know when it comes to advances you just go for it and like you know things Mm. like that which to be honest that is kind of the expectation like i've had i have uh i have definitely went the consentful route and and asked someone if i could like touch them or kiss them or something like that and that has actually went really well but i've also just went for the kiss too yeah 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 yeah. and that's gone well and not gone well but i've also just went for the kiss and then later had the person be like hey just FYI, like that, I don't, that wasn't really okay. You should have just asked. And I, and I've had people say, when I've asked, be like, why the hell are you asking? Just go for it. So it's like, yeah. it's all over the goddamn gambit about what people want and what's acceptable. It's yeah. like, do you quote unquote be a man and just going for the kiss? Or do you like respect them and be like, hey, and like, that's exactly why it's hard out here for guys because of that, that duality. It's like, if you go for it, they respect you for it. But if you do that, then it's like, you know, <laughs> well, well, right, and I've, I've, uh, and I've had, yeah, I have, have had m- many a girl be like, "Why are you asking?" So I was looking it up a little bit, and it says, uh, "For those who are unaware, Andrew started getting uh, heat after a woman from TikTok named Caroline Elise recounted an alleged incident between her and Andrew, claiming he got her consent to sleep together by wearing her down." A source with direct knowledge tells us that Caroline requested money from Andrew, referencing the. A fat check he got from HBO. Um, Andrew told, oh, we're told Andrew didn't pay up, and Carolyn uploaded a TikTok video a few days. Oh, so she tried to escort him. That's what it sounds like. But but he, I mean, he came out and admitted that he was like consistently pressured her to like. Yeah. 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 And and like I say, man, there's honestly, when it comes to being a guy and and having the proper amount of riz, there's there's a thin line. Well, yeah. Well, and when here and here's the, the other side you, of that. How do you riz tricks, riz tricks, riz chicks in this situation? Riz? Yeah. How do you riz them up? What I mean, what do you mean? How do you get your riz off? <laughs> well, I haven't heard that. You don't get, you get your riz game off. I mean, is it, what is that? The the get, trying to hook up game? Sure. Yeah. Uh, how do you get your riz off, man? Anymore, I go the consent route. And I just, I'm just like, hey. Well, I mean, but well, you know, like she's being a little coy, and you, and you know, she's feeling you, and you're like, I'm about to turn the riz up to like five. And uh, a half. no, I don't. You know, <laughs> you, don't turn, you don't turn your riz. I don't on? turn the riz up. No, like I'm like I. Uh, it's actually weird. I've been, I've, you know, like there's a lot of like kind of dudes out there who are like. Well, if I can get him to say any sort of positive affirmation, I'm going to take that as a whatever. No, but my no, thing's okay. always been, like, if you're not just, like, super into it, like, I'm not. Like, I've even had, like, ex-girlfriends where I'd be, like, trying to, like, get all sexy time with them. And they're, and they're just like, fine. You just And they're like, and they're like, you can just do what you want. And I'm just like. I'm done. And, I, and I'm just like, no, nah, I'm good. Nah. No, yeah. you know, and that's bull crap because women don't have to, women have to have no riz, basically. Women have no riz, and this is like, yeah, it's, if the tables were turned, look, women have no riz. They don't know how to, they don't know how to talk to guys. They don't know how to, they don't know what we want. They want Which is really to, funny because it would be very simple. Yeah. If they're trying be. to get a guy turned on to bang him. Yeah. Like, if you just walk up to a guy, you say, oh, you're cute. I'd be like, all right, you're cute too. 
yo, I'm in there. That now happened I know- to me one time, and I was like, this is really nice. Now I know where to go from here. Now there's no more awkward. I'm just immediately, I, I can turn the Riz up to like a four or a five or a six, maybe. Yeah. And we can, and we can get this moving. Yeah, it ain't got to be necessarily well, sexual me, in nature, um, but, but let I me throw this out there. And this is, I, you know, and like, you know, guys have a lot of advantages when it comes to things in general, like, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, for for a guy to yeah. pressure a woman and ask them to have sex 30 times and they finally say yes. Yeah. People look at that as very creepy, very like and wear call, you down. I call that Riz. But if a woman is doing that to a guy, th- no one looks at that creepy. as creepy. I find that creepy. No, but not as creepy. Like I find that more creepy. Yo, nothing is more terrifying in this world than free pussy. That is the <laughs> scariest thing. Like, I don't know, no, no, no. If there was like a lemonade stand outside, there was like free pussy, and then uh, and you pass that, are you just gonna be like, oh wow? Let me go grab three handfuls. No, <laughs> you're gonna be like, uh, something's up here. <laughs> Why are you so willing to? <laughs> Yeah, something's up here. First well, off, you're well, gonna be let like, me, let me say this though. Not like walking down the street, but if you're like with a person and they're just like, hey, we should do it, and you're not feeling it that moment for any reason, <laughs> and they keep saying, hey, we should do this, hey, we should do this. Nah, it's being disingenuous. Um, if I was on a date with a girl and she was like, all right, look, right after dinner, we gotta go F. I'm like, whoa, 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 chick. Obviously, it's gonna happen, but something's wrong here. Like, I know I'm cute, John, but I ain't cute enough to just, like, totally turn off a, a girl's ideas of self-preservation. And you are f- <laughs> way more attractive than I am. Oh, but you ain't turning off that self-preservation either. You know? <laughs> like, where like, she's just like, I don't care. I need to F this guy today, now. Nah, something's up. What are you trying to do? <laughs> yeah, it's always, like... Uh, I'm hiding my wallet. Well, and I think it's... And I think it... Like, I because I can't... Okay. If someone is that into you and they want you to do something, that's, I mean, it's hot, but at the same time, it's, it's hot. It, it, Cause I mean like, okay, being desired is hot, right? Like who doesn't want to be desired, especially if it's someone you find attractive that you want to get with anyways. Are you telling but me it, you want me to call you but, hot? But at the same time, uh, it's it, like, I think guys are so not used to that situation happening yeah that, that we would think that it was something yeah you're like what what's oh, yeah. they're like what's what's going on here what's the what's the catch why is why is something happening and, and you know what dude it our friend tupac let's refer back to him i hate to sound sleazy but tease me i don't want it if it's that easy hmm? it, it, i <laughs> like, mean <laughs> more power to tupac i would prefer if it were way easier um <laughs> This takes me back to like uh, when I was younger and I remember there was a young lady. I actually had a girlfriend at the time. Okay. And I was, you know, I was trying to be that that, that good boyfriend. I was telling all the young ladies that I worked with at the time. I was like, yeah, I don't cheat on my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and you know, and you should not. I want to put that out I there. Agree. You should not. You should not. And it was like maybe like five months later, one of the girls was like, yeah, I remember I came over to try to talk to you. And she was like, I was trying to, she was trying to riz me up essentially. And then she was like, and then I asked you and you told me you had a girlfriend, you don't cheat on her. So I just kind of stopped trying to pursue you. And I was like, girl, are you insane? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> like, you should have tried harder. You should have said something. I didn't know you were trying to, I didn't know she was trying to holler. Uh, but I mean, but if you literally say that, why would she then continue to push it? I was just bullshitting. You know how to be bullshit, girl. <laughs> You're like, I just want everyone out here to think. <laughs> that was really an opening to say, I do cheat yeah. on my girl. If you're out here talking about how you don't cheat, that means that you cheat. Yeah. <laughs> no, everybody knows that you don't do that. So if I say <laughs> I don't do that, obviously I'm lying to try to seem better in your eyes. Like, oh, I would never do this. Only with you, girl, would I ever cheat on my girl. Come on. <laughs> And don't cheat on your girlfriends. I want to put that out there. I, I, I say I was young and my intentions were different. Then. Yeah. I'm yeah. a different person now. Yeah. 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 No, but like, 
I, I mean, and that's that does honestly tend to be the case. The people who are out here talking about how they love their people so much are usually the ones that are just like it's like the siren's call of like just like <laughs> it, you're just like it's just like whoa 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 whoa. You're like whoa. Yeah. Why, wait. <laughs> do, I, yeah. do I smell yeah. a cheater out here? There's two ends of the spectrum, man. There's the one that talks too much about their significant other, and you're like, like I know you're you're cheating. Or there's the one that's like, I hate my husband. <laughs> yeah, and then they're the ones who won't cheat. They're, oh, they're, uh, you'd be surprised. Yeah. You can wear them down pretty easily. Oh, wow. wait, don't wear them down. That sounds so predatory. <laughs> How does that sound predatory? You just said wear them down. Yeah. That's what Andrew Callahan's in trouble for is wearing I, her down. I don't know what tactics he was using, but I've never been a, a, accused of coercion. Yeah, I mean. Even though it's 100% coercion. I'm just, there's a, I don't know. Like I say, coercion, I don't really, like I say, I consider that riz to a certain extent. As long as you're not being crazy, it sounds like. It sounds honestly. I, I get what you mean. There's a difference between like someone playing hard to get, and you're just like, you're, and you're making sure you're showing effort, and you want to whatever. And it's a whole nother to be like, just be like, come on, you know you want to, and like, yeah, like, and, and yeah. like do that all yes. night long till they're finally like, I guess I want to, and yeah. then the next day like, I didn't want to, like yeah. yeah. If so. you're gaslighting, if you're just like pressuring, that's one thing. But I, when I guess when I say coercion, I'm just more or less like getting them to the point where they'll willingly do it. You know, like no, a lot of a lot of like strong relationships that I've that I've heard of, I hear a lot of times a woman will say, "Yes, when I first met my husband, I couldn't stand his ass, but through him being persistent um, and showing me he's not who I thought he was and yeah, that kind of thing, like it takes a certain degree of persistence and coercion essentially to get any girl." Yeah, well, yeah, and, and it's it's uh, I mean, and even with me. Too like because like if I'm just like chatting with someone and like whatever like I kind of kind of know where your head's at like yeah yeah it's like it's like what what do you what do you want from this situation yeah. like are you trying to just hook up or you do you want you trying to date me like what do you like and I need to kind of know unless it's just like unless you're like into that or ready for like the one night stand like it's gonna be what it is like yeah we can smash and then we'll yeah. figure it out later yeah, yeah. but. But yeah, I don't know. But anyways, and sometimes it takes a little rope, a little duct tape, Jones. That's what it takes. <laughs> Jesus, that's yeah, good. that's what it takes. Scooby Doo him. Scooby Doo. <laughs> so, but anyways, know. that's all the time we ever today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Yep.